Hey YouTube, it's David from mdbootstrap.com. This is another part of our tutorial um, how to build a WordPress team. So in the previous tutorials, we learned how to set up environment, install WordPress, create a team, create our homepage. So this is where we ended up. So we have our homepage and we have our post page. Um, and this is what we're going to work on more today. So today we're going to create um, this uh, and move this post page into the separate file and I'm going to show you some more tricks which are related to this one. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so as you might remember, we finished up uh, having all our logic in the index.php file and now we want to move it to separate file as um, as the best practices uh, WordPress uh, suggest to have this separate, right? So obviously we don't, you don't need to have all of these templates over here, but usually it's wise to have like different for posts and pages, unless until you want them to look the same. So then you would use like singular PHP, but we don't want them to look the same. So I want to, uh, we'll be working on the single PHP file now. So let's go here, let's create a new file. Let's call it single.php and now, we already have seen it in the previous um, video. If I refresh, we get the blank page because obviously there is nothing here. What we need every time when we create this um, um, new page, we have to do the same what we've done on um, index.php. So we need at least this header and we need footer, obviously. By footer, I mean this footer, WordPress footer, actually. Um, so it doesn't necessarily mean like a footer footer in the HTML meaning. Uh, we don't need this one. Mm, yeah. So now nothing actually changed, but if we open source code, you see that at least we have some hat and, 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 and this JavaScript loaded before we didn't even have that. Um, okay, so now what we're going to do, we're going to basically do pretty much the same what we did last time. So we're going to pick up one of the templates, predefined templates, so you can find something on your own. And we will uh, just turn HTML into a working, um, working, working uh, WordPress theme page template. So there are different templates available here at mdbootstrap.com slash freebies. I'm gonna go with this post and I'm gonna copy paste live demo and here you got access to a snippet. So I'm gonna copy paste this one and let's paste it over here. Now, if we paste it, obviously it will look, oops, um, we need to close PHP here and we need to open PHP here. Okie dokie, now it should work. So yeah, it's boom, it's working out of the box, amazing, done. That's it for today's video. <laughs> I'm kidding, obviously. Um, so we have a HTML, static HTML here. here. So we have a plenty of uh, stuff here. We have comment form. Um, yeah, we have outer box um, and we have content as a such. Now, uh, what we have to do here, um, what we have to do now is um, as we are, um, as we have this nav bar here, and uh, which is slightly different from what we've got on our home page, so we would like to reuse the existing one, right? We have this one. So what we're gonna do? I'm gonna go to go index PHP. I'm gonna get my header. I'm gonna copy or actually cut it from index PHP. I'm gonna put it inside our header. So that way, our homepage won't change oh, uh, until, unless I save it, won't change. So it's the same, but our post page will get this second nav bar because now it's getting one from our um, hard-coded one. So this header, so we don't need this. Um, Let's uh, remove this navbar here. Yeah, so we have just this one over 
uh, here so basically now every time we create a new template right so we can have more we can have now uh, page php archive php and every time we call get header every single page will basically get the same we can do um obviously the same with the footer so i'm gonna get the one from index php so this is the footer i'm gonna cut it and i'm gonna go to footer and before here i'm just gonna paste it and from single php i'm gonna get rid of this footer which been here from html so now we should see that it's gonna be replaced with the yeah with the one which we have also on the home page right so um, just to show you just to make sure that we understand each other let me cut this one so we just have get header and a get footer and this is how our single post looks like right so although we don't have any piece of code here we already have header and the footer so we are following dry rule do not repeat yourself so we are not copying paste the same piece of code now let's focus on the content so i'm gonna paste it again um styles do we need those styles i'm not sure what they are responsible for let's refresh it here yeah i think they are giving some margin here i don't i don't think we need them if you would like to keep them put them into style css i don't want to use them i'll get rid of them so we have this header here and now yeah now what we want to do since this is our um, our single post we need to start working on this so we need to add a loop um, like in case of index uh, php so in order to start using these functions like the content the title and so on we have to they have to be used within a loop so we need to add loop to our code so um let's get uh so this loop which we have here which is starting somewhere in the middle in our case we're gonna get it oops we're gonna get this one here on the top so here we are starting our loop so if have post and while have post the post and then on the bottom we want to close uh, we want to close these conditions so when we refresh boom nothing happens so we didn't screw up anything but now what we can do we can very easily do or use php the title and this will change our title to the one which we have over here so now we already had this what we have here mm. what's this one this is avatar and this is image search okay so this is some this is some uh, image this is probably the cover image this one so let's go to index php we're gonna reuse the function from here post thumbnail uh, i'm gonna paste it here and i want to get this all these classes paste them here yeah it's working um obviously uh, you might see that this 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 image has a different ratio so it looks different so obviously i should adjust my um my thumbnail to use uh, something with different proportion to make it uh, better basically i need a bigger picture because this picture itself is quite small uh, let me let me do it like this let's keep let's revert this one save this one okay and now i will just go to this post 4 and i will replace this image with this one so i should get exact same result yeah okay now it's working fine 
Now, what else we have to change here? Obviously the content. So let's get here, this section. Let's get rid of these and this content. Um, and let's use PHP the content. So this will give us my post content. And yeah, we're gonna leave um, this comment for another tutorial, for the next tutorial. So now the last thing we would like to change here is this one. So we need, to, we want to have the actual publish date and the author. So um, let's start with uh, with a date. That's gonna be fairly, fairly uh, simple because um, WordPress obviously has a function for this one. So php echo get the date so this is the date of this post now we want to change this one so uh, php the author So it's admin, I'm logged in as an admin, and we want to want to this one to be a link. So when you click on it, you should it, it should move you to the archive page, which we don't have yet, but maybe we'll create it, which will post, which will list all the posts created by this user. Um, this is a bit tricky, um, but I really I'm gonna give you just the um, the final code so this is the one you're gonna find the source code in the description down below so this is the source code which will basically make this happen so if you check now this is the admin url right localhost wordpress author admin and this is as you can see it's actually listing all my uh, all my posts so coming back to what we've discussed uh, in the previous tutorial we don't have this author page here so it's falling back to the index page but we don't have author we don't have archive uh, we don't have category so all our you know all our um post they can belong to some category here you can create categories within wordpress we don't have that but we will learn how to do it in the next tutorials okie dokie so i think we are done for now um, because the comments, it's a slightly different subject, a little bit more complex. So we're going to have a separate lesson for this one. Um, yeah. Okay. I think, I hope it was easy for you. It was, if it wasn't, let me know, uh, in a comment down below. If you like it, if you enjoyed, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to turn notification on and smash this like button. This is going to help us to grow our channel. And we really appreciate your support. If you have any questions, though, don't hesitate to ask them down below in the comments or at our Facebook group. You're going to find the link to our Facebook group in the description down below. Thank you for watching and keep coding.